Is it everybody who needs permission to get it? Yeah, I think I've got everybody, but let me know if you don't have permission. All right. Maybe we can give a minute and let those other guys join in here in a second. Yeah, I'll give a couple minutes here. Also, uh, Brent, I'm signed in as Jalen Cook, but mm -hmm. I'm Orlando Toby. So I'm just using someone else's account. <laughs> Might get confusing, but just a heads up. So, Brett, when you're asking what day training camp is, are you talking about in August? Yeah, I just didn't know if that was already planned out. I know it could change, obviously. Yeah, it was. Um, Brett, do you remember? It seemed like it was uh, August, like August 2nd or something like that. But I don't remember the date. I can look it up. I let that information uh, – leave my memory because I didn't think I was going to need it. Yeah. It's not a huge deal. I just was curious. I think most of you saw that the uh, Big Ten, you know, canceled the in-person um, media day in July. Uh, there will be some plans coming out on some virtual uh, media day here. Uh, what what we're going to be able to do <clears throat> soon? I mean, I think hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll have a have a plan for that, so that we'll be able to share. All right, Kendrick's on. All right, let's just, let's get this rolling with uh, Jake uh, once he comes back there. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Let's do it. So Jake, uh, if you could start us off. Uh, kind of let us know where you are, what you're up to, and what your plans are for as far as you know. So right now I'm in Florida. Um, I'm working out and just staying in shape. I got I have access to a gym, so that hasn't really been an issue for me. Um, and I've been uh, – I'm kind of still thinking it over with my family on, like, kind of what we want to do as far as, like, coming back. But right now I'm, like, thinking that – is like when they let us come back is when when I'll be back at Illinois. So um, that's what – not 100% sure what the plan is right now. We're still waiting on official dates and things like that. So, Joey, why don't you kick us off here with questions? I guess, Jake, when you're kind of weighing your options here on when to come back and, and when not to, what goes into – that decision and what are you kind of monitoring? Uh, I mean, just, just different things like, uh, 
it's more for me, like, just like from a training standpoint, uh, like, like, are we going to be able to train at the highest level? Like, I don't want to come back if I can't like, like get in the weight room and really do what we want to do and be only have to be in there for like 30 minutes because we have so many, we can only work out with so many people and there's time crunches and things like that. So that's one of the things that, um, you take into consideration, but from what I've heard, it seems like some, some of the plans that we're coming up with from, uh, what, uh, our AD and Jeremy have, uh, Jeremy Bush, our athletic trainer have come up with, I think we're, um, and they've done a great job so far. I think from what they're coming up with, I think it's starting to look pretty good. So. Scott Ritchie. Hey, Jake, I guess just the fact that there is a plan in place to get you guys back on campus together. What was your, your initial reaction to that? And how much have maybe you been kind of, you know, wanting that over the last couple months? I mean, I was waiting. I, I kept getting asked, and I was waiting on something. And I was just finally to hear, like, there was, there was plans being made to get us back there. And it's finally starting. It's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel to a degree. We're not completely out of this, obviously, yet. Um, but it's super exciting to be able to get back with the guys as soon as we're able to and as soon as it's, like, the right time to for each person. But, like, I was real excited to hear that and get back after and work out with some of, some of, some of the boys. I mean, you mentioned you've been able to, to work out on your own, but yeah. how important is it for the team to maybe be together and doing that just in preparation, at least in somewhat of a normal sense for you know this coming season? I mean, it's definitely different when you're with a team, and that's what, like, a lot of the guys have – like, a lot of us have talked about, like um, – and, like, if it's – I we talked to Coach Lou as well. Like, just working out with a team makes a difference, and – when you're all in the same area doing it together, it's something that means a little bit more. Like it's kind of like a sweat equity, like uh, like you earn that respect from your teammates type thing. John Sapini. Hey Jake. Um... How you doing? It sounds like there's a, a little um, question in your mind about everything yet. How, have you talked to some of your teammates and what's going through their head? You said a, a like a, a what did you? I'm sorry, I missed the part. You know, it seems like you, you have a, a little question in your mind about oh about yeah, coming yeah. back a little bit. Have you talked to a lot of teammates? Are they all in? Or are they they still do they have some questions too? Yeah, a lot of like I've talked to a bunch of leaders on our team, like Kendrick and. Like a like a Doug Kramer and guys on defense like Nate Hobbs, um, and there a lot of them want to get back and they ha they have similar concerns to me as far as like how many times like the diplomacy like of it the dip like how many times we're gonna get tested and how often like you can get actually get into the facility and get the quality work in that you want to get done. Um, a lot of them have similar concerns, but they all I think everyone's really motivated to get back and get back to camp. No one's like disappointed that they have to go back to campus by any means for, for sure that's what I would have to say about it um tell me how exciting is it to come back now that you guys are coming off a bowl season and it seems like this thing's kind of ready to take off a little bit yeah I mean it's super exciting and I think I, I mean I just I, was, I actually just got a phone with Kendrick and we were talking about how this is like we have a big senior class this year and it's like kind of our it's kind of building up to this and this is year for us and it's like our year to do something really special and I think that's uh like it's something that's going to be I think really good for us if we can uh figure out this summer and really work work things out come fall thank you mm -hmm. we'll go Evan next and then Nico hey you talk about how it's going to be a big all that excitement have you thought about the possibility of playing those games without fans and what that sort of is going to be like? Yeah, I thought, I've thought of the possibility. And to me, it's like, it's definitely different and something we're just going to have to work around, I guess. But um, to me, like it, it'll be almost like a scrimmage because like, like it'd be like a practice scrimmage almost because there's no fans. And that's something that's like, I think it changes the aspect of an actual football game when you don't have the pressure of like 
however many, 80,000, 75,000, 60,000 fans looking at you, um, like, live. I think that it plays a big role into it. So it'd definitely be different, but it's just, like, the rest of the world's dealing with it just like we are. So thanks. There you go. All three of mine had gotten asked, so I'm I'm good for the moment. Uh, Matt Stevens. Jake, give us an impression down in Florida what your level of anxiety about just doing normal things. You said you had access to a gym, you know, whether it's working out or going out or doing things. Um, Florida is a big state, and I don't I don't mean to paint with a broad brush, but like your level of anxiety during this whole pandemic about just trying to stay active and do what you would consider normal things that you would already do in the summer to stay, keep healthy and try to keep yourself prepared for the upcoming season? Uh, I, my level, my personal level of anxiety um, is not very high. I, I'd say it's a little bit lower right now. Florida's a little bit more. I think we were one of the earlier states to start opening things up. Um, now, that is when I try to like – still follow all the guidelines, social distance, like when I'm in the store and when I'm in public and try to stay six feet away from people and things like that. And, um, but like for me personally and my family, I'm pretty, like I, I'd say that my anxiety is pretty low as far as like doing normal things. Quick follow-up is just gauging mom and dad's anxiety about you going back to school and having it be in-person instruction. Is there any, been any talk in your family about that? And, and what, what would be your, what would be your plan if that were the case at Illinois? Yeah, they're, um, I mean, they're, it's just something we're going to we're like talk, talk a little bit more about. Um, they, I've mentioned it to them and they think that it's like, it's my decision at the end of the day. Like, and I'll be, it's not like I'm going to be coming back and forth a ton. So um, like, I think they're, I think my, I think my parents are more like wanting to me around the house more than they're worried about, uh, like me actually getting the virus in a uh, champagne. Let's go to Brett Barons. Hey Jake, hope you're doing well. Do you have any concern at all about the season not being played this fall or at all? Um, honestly, I, I had like, like middle of April, I was really concerned and I was like really worried and I was almost expecting it. Like I was preparing myself mentally for it not to happen, but now I'm starting to, I'm starting to think I'm pretty convinced that we're going to have a season. I'm almost, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I would say I'm very, very, uh, I, th I think we're going to have a season. That's where I, that's where I'm at. How have you had to balance those emotions knowing that, you know, like this is your last chance and they could be not there? Yeah, I mean, it was – it's definitely – like I was, I was pretty frustrated for a little bit, but like, I mean, my, my parents kind of talked to me about like just being – like staying a little bit, like just preparing yourself for the – hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. Um, and that's kind of what I've been trying to do. And so far it's been able to work out and uh, we're moving in the right direction, I think. Thanks, Jake. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got anything? Lauren Tate, you got anything? You're on the mute there, Lauren. Lauren, we can't hear you. You got, got to unmute it. You're muted, Lauren. Got, got to hit the microphone. Can't hear you. First time I've seen Lauren without a hat on. Forever. Lauren, you can type your type your question into the chat box, and we can answer it, ask it that way. Or text if you can't. <laughs> Anybody else got anything? Uh, the. Uh... Orlando, the guy named Jalen Cook on here, but it's really Orlando said he had a question. Yeah. Nope, Lawrence, Lawrence on. on uh, My name, I'm unmuted. I see where to do it. Uh, yep. Jake, uh, you plan to take classes in the fall? 
uh, and would you take classes with masks or do you expect to take class, uh, classes in class at all? Sorry, you said, like, what are my expectations as far as class? Yes. And, and would you wear a mask in class? Yeah, I'd, I mean, I'd wear a mask. Most of my... He gets heated really fast. <laughs> so Lauren, you know, part of that question in terms of going to class in person, I don't know that Jake can really answer that because that hasn't been established uh, yet by campus. And so some that's a question that's really difficult because there's too much unknown yet. We're waiting on campus to come down with a, a final decision on how that's going to play out this fall. Sorry, my uh, dog came in and started barking a ton. It was a whole deal. <laughs> um, yeah, like <laughs> like uh, Kent said, I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uncertainty as far as that's coming yet. But like, I th most of my classes are going to be all online anyway, so I'm not. That's not a huge concern for me right now. So, thank you. But I would be willing to wear a mask. If that's some of the guidelines that they want us to follow. Would you want to comment on what position you're going to play this year? I asked you that before. Uh, <laughs> can you make the calls from outside, or do you have to be middle linebacker to make the calls? Well, on our defense, you got to be you got to be a middle to make the calls. Okay, is that where you're going to be? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Come, uh, I think it's September second or something like that. Uh, Orlando, Orlando, did you have a question? Yeah, real quick. Uh, what's going on, Jake? First of all, I hope everybody. How you doing? Well. Pretty good. Um, I just wanted to know what's the level of hesitation, given that football is such a physical sport and hands-on. We talk about touching weights, being around teammates. We all know that you know germs and stuff can fly around. So, what yeah. level of hesitation, if any, do you have uh, going back and working out around your teammates? Uh, I mean. The hesitation for me isn't as much about the actual like germs and the the whole like me worrying about getting uh, the coronavirus. For me, it's more of like, am I going to be able to get the quality work in that I'd be able to usually get during this time in the summer? And if not, then I'd like to be at home where I could work out at, like in my like personal gym and do things where I know I'm going to be able to get the right amount of work, the right the quality work uh, that I want to get in. And uh, if we are able to do that at Illinois, then by all means, I'm going to be at Illinois as soon as possible. But, and I think that's what it sounds like we're going to be able to do. So I think right now it's looking like uh, we'll be at Illinois um, as early as possible. Excellent. Real quick follow-up. I know players um, are really big into their routines. So how, do, how is your routine going to be affected, if any, um, going back? I mean, it'll definitely be affected. It's just going to have to be like a new routine. Like I'm going to have to come up with a new uh, way to like, I, just for example, like coming into the weight room, if we have to get tested before we walk into the facility or different things like that, like that's just going to, I'm going to have to account for that in the new routine. Um, and as far as like getting like different, like extra work of opposed, like not, not opposed, but like on top of the stuff we already do in there, like you kind of have to adjust as well because we can't get in there at all times. I'm going to have to plan. A, like it's going to be a lot of time management and planning accordingly for uh, every like different events and things like that. Perfect. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Anybody, th anybody else have anything else for Jake? Uh, if not, we'll move on to Kendrick here. No. All right. Thank we'll you, Jake. <clears throat> What you've all, been <laughs> all right. I appreciate you guys. Um, hope everyone's safe and all their families doing well. Bye Jake. Thank you, Jake. Bye Kendrick. All right. Moving on to Kendrick here. Kendrick, uh, we'll do the same format there. If you really need me to call on you, throw it in the chat there. Kendrick, if you can kind of just give us a rundown on where you're at, what you're up to and, uh, what are your plans going forward here in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, so um, I've been... You're muted, Kendrick. Of course. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, like I was saying, uh, I've been I've been in Champaign pretty much for the most part. Um, 
and I've been in Peoria a few times, you know, back and forth. But uh, you know, I've just been uh, been here doing what I can, uh, trying to get work in and uh, staying out the way, man. Cool. We'll go in that same order, kind of uh, Joey and then Scott Ritchie. Hey Kendrick, I, I guess I'm just curious. You said you've been in Champaign, you know, Peoria being so close. Is there a reason you? I guess elected to, to stay in Champaign for the last two and a half months in, in lieu of going home? Um, actually, yeah. Um, so, like, when I went to college, my mom kind of, like, downsized. And uh, I don't have a room at my mom's anymore. So, and I'm too I'm, – I'm, like, 315 pounds. I'm not sleeping on the couch. And I have a nice bed here in Champaign. So, that's where I'll be. <laughs> uh, I guess a real quick follow-up is – your feelings on, you know, more of your teammates coming back to join you? I mean, I guess what is your level of comfort and, and things starting to get going again? Um, you know, um, like Jake said, um, Josh Whitman, uh, Randy Ballard, and uh, Jeremy Bush, our athletic trainer, they have um, they put in a, put a great plan together, uh, really sat down, and I, you can tell they really put time into it. I think it's a great plan. I think if everyone follows the guidelines, it's going to work really well for us, and um, but, you know, it is all optional, and I think, you know, uh, guys are really going to uh, really gonna do what's best for them. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really be upset with anybody for that. I think we're going to have a majority of the team coming back and uh, trying to get together for the summer, though. Scott and then Kyle. Hey, Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick, since you guys didn't get your spring practices in, I mean, is that going to maybe once – most of the teams back on campus together, you feel like there's going to be pressure to maybe try and do a lot in a short amount of time maybe to make up for that? Or how do you feel like you guys can approach it? Um, You know, like, uh, you can't really, can't really, you know, the, the spring's gone. You can't try and fit all that in, you know, or else you're going to wear your body out. So just kind of have to take those, that, that loss of having spring on the chin and, you know, do what we can, uh, do the maximum amount possible that our, that your body can allow. But, um, other than that, we're just going to, you know, we're going to attack the summer accordingly, and, you know, that's all we can really do. Jim Cotter. Kendrick, a little bit uh, to follow up on that. Guys like Jordan Slaughter, uh, Kendrick, uh, uh, Julian Pearl, and those guys that, you know, might have, might have needed some more reps. How did spring – the lack of spring. I mean, you've been through a lot of spring practices yourself and early summer workouts. How did not having those maybe set those guys back a little bit in getting the necessary reps when they come back to campus here uh, pretty soon, hopefully? Yeah, um, like I said, you know, having um, having a uh, having a spring ball is definitely um, physically, you know, it's, it's 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 very important. I think it's key to uh, having success and developing as a player. But with that being said, with spring being canceled and we had these all these Zoom meetings, we learned a lot of football that we normally wouldn't have covered, uh, like because you know obviously we just don't have time for it. But uh, but the meeting times we had, Coach Bob McLean and uh, our GA Rob Delaney, we learned a lot about you know reading defenses. We even got dipped into looking at coverages and stuff like that. And uh, you know, so we we learned. I think we uh we, we all everybody made games in the spring, just not the not the uh, typical games you would think of. And, Brett, a quick follow-up on that. Uh, I know there was some guys that posted videos of them doing, you know, some other different types of workouts. Did you have any types of workouts that you did? I know it showed Doug Kramer pulling a car or a truck. Did you have any special workouts that you did? Yeah, so, um, actually, I, um, I, I was in Alabama for a short period of time, like right when this all started. Um, and – we were, I was with the, my roommate, Jamal Woods. Uh, we, were, we were at his house in Alabama for about a week or so, and his dad got a big old truck, so me and him pushed it up and down the street, uh, kind of with uh, giving Doug the credit for the idea because I never would have thought of that. But um, So, yeah, I've done that, uh, you know, a lot of body weight stuff and uh, really pushing the cardio. But uh, the biggest thing, I think, especially for us linemen, is that um, watching what you eat and, uh, you know, nutrition, you know, being on a diet. Because uh, that's where, you know, we can really, especially being bigger guys, we can uh, let go. Go to Evan if you got one, and then Nico, and then Jeremy. 
Hey, Kendrick, you say you've been on campus most of this time, and I know athletes are on campus a lot of the time when other students aren't there, but what's it, what's it been like with, with a lot of the people gone? Does it feel any different, and what have you been up to uh, to, to kill the time? Man, for the most part, uh, I've been in the house, so I wouldn't know either way if anybody was here or not. So, you know, um, I've actually uh, – like yeah, like, yeah, I wouldn't know what campus looks like even really. I've I've drove on campus a few times to go get some groceries and uh, really that's about it. Honestly, uh, I went and seen one of my fraternity brothers as well, but that was really it. So. As far as workouts go, do you have to do all those in home? Have they given you guys a, a gym that you can go to or, or something along those lines? No, nah, well, we have no gym, um, but you know some of the strength guys they put together a little in home workout that you can do. Uh, I know guys have been doing those. Um, that's because I have, and um, you know, just really pushing that cardio. I'll jog around my block, and you know, each time I'll do it a few times. Each time I'll try and make it faster. So, uh, but other than that, you know, just making something out of nothing. I really, you know, so. Thanks. Here you go. Hey, Kendrick, you guys really started to build some momentum this last season. Have you guys talked at all about maybe playing games with uh, limited fans in attendance or maybe even in an empty stadium? Is, is that something that you guys have talked about or still kind of waiting on that information to come out? Um, we haven't talked about it with the coaches or with uh, Josh Whitman or anything like that. But, we, you know, we have a group chat. We kind of talk about it amongst uh, ourselves. And Obviously, I want to play first and foremost, but, you know, if we got to play with fans, we got to play without fans. But I definitely don't want to play without fans, though. Like, if I had it my way, we'd have fans in there because, uh, you know, we feed off that student section. So, you know, and uh, having your family at the – have families at the game and, you know what I mean? So, I, I think the, the fans will be a big part and it's going to be very different without – and then kind of building off that, you mentioned the, uh, the group chats that you guys have had. How have you kind of maybe – have, have you kind of felt yourself stepping up in that? I know you're kind of a, a chemistry guy. You like to joke around. What have you maybe done a little differently or kind of carrying over what you typically do, but through video chat now? Yeah, so we all kind of get, in, uh, get on a little FaceTime type of deal. And, uh, you know, we just fellowship on there a little bit, I guess. Um, you no, know, just talk crap to each other like always because uh, I got to do that. <laughs> I need that in my life. So, that, you know, that's about all I uh, – that's all we can do, though, now, you know, everybody's at home or, you know, the guys that are here on campus are staying at home, too, you know, practicing social distancing, so. Jeremy. Can't hear him. I can't hear you, Jeremy. Let's go to uh, let's go to Orlando. I think Orlando said he had one for Kendrick, and then we'll try to get back to Jeremy. Kendrick, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? How you doing? Pretty good. Hope all is well. Uh, Jake uh, said that you are one of the leaders on the team. So, given these circumstances and everything is pretty different, how are some of the? How have you shown that leadership during this time? Have you heard any concerns from players? And if so, have you like kept them on the right path and kept them motivated to uh, get ready for the season? Um, so like we were, we were talking about in our, we have, you know, but we have a group chat, uh, for the leaders on the offense, we all have a group chat, you know, cause there's about six or seven guys. Um, and we were all talking about like, you know, like the plan that's been put together, obviously we, we like with the, you know, we are going to get tested and then quarantine and then get tested again. So we're going to be by ourselves isolated in like literally a dorm room for some time. And, you know, nobody wants to do that, but. You know, I think it's all for, – for me, it's all about riding for the brand, man. So, you know, if it's for the boys and the greater the team, I'm with you 100% all the way. So, and uh, – because, I, I, you know, I think a lot of guys need to come back. But with me being a leader, if I'm not coming back and, you know, doing the same thing, going through the same struggle with them, how can I expect them to do, you know, that type of thing. So, so it's more so of a lead by example type of – Exactly. Yes, sir. Perfect. Appreciate it. Jeremy, you good? Yeah, can you hear me? Brad, better. Um, Kendrick, I know you guys, some guys have talked about uh, Bob McLean, kind of his professor Bob. What, what's he kind of like in those Zoom chats? What do you guys learn from him? Um, he is like a professor uh, in football-wise, but technology-wise, he's not uh, not all the way there. So, 
But, uh, you know, it, it took some time to get used to it. Uh, Alex Menezi, our tech guy with the team, he helped him out a little bit. Um, so, you know, that, that took, it took a little minute for that to get the ball rolling, like two or three meetings. But once he got the hang of it, we were rolling for sure. Is, is it technique stuff you guys are learning? Like, can you take me through a little bit about what you guys have learned that you can put onto a field that, you know, you weren't able to do in spring? Um, so, Coach Bob, where as soon as we had these Zoom meetings, he's like, you know, this is like, this, like I know we're on Zoom, but, like, we're about to get some real work in. You know, you guys are going to learn ball. So, you know, he taught us a lot about, you know, um, formations and different uh, different fronts and how uh, – run plays and we watched film last year on how, you know, how certain plays could have went went better how certain plays did go that were well and uh you know we're learning coverages like I said earlier and we learned just a lot of stuff you normally wouldn't cover during spring ball because you just don't have the time you know so yeah and know you guys are a really experienced group for you guys who are starters do you think that could be a benefit or how do you think you guys can kind of approach that I mean, I, as far as I'm concerned, all of us uh, that are returning starters, we have, you know, aspirations of playing in the NFL. And uh, the more, you know, I'm, I'm sure uh, when, when, it, when it comes to that time to make that next step, you know, you got to know ball. You got to, you know, I'm sure they have interviews where you get on the board and, you know, schematics and things like that. So all that stuff is definitely beneficial for us. Thanks, Kendrick. Oh, you got your follow-up? Yeah, I guess – Kendrick, you know, Peoria High is a, you know, you guys were big in the weight room there. And, you know, I know that was pretty important to what you do. And obviously that's carried over to Champagne for you with doing some of these body, you know, weight exercises or pushing a truck. What, what have you kind of learned or is there anything that maybe you think you can carry with you even after you get the weight room back open? Um, I'm sorry, like, what, like, as, what do you mean? Like, I, I'm kind of not understanding your question. I mean, I guess is there, is there anything that you've done during this with, with body weights? Or, there's stuff that you maybe wouldn't have ordinarily done just because of the access oh. you got to have that, that you'll carry with you after this is over? Yeah, so being a bigger guy, we know bigger guys usually don't uh, focus on, you know, the ab muscles and stuff. So I've been doing a lot of, a lot of ab work, trying to get that core strong, you know, uh, just because, you know, that's all I really can do with body weight stuff. You know, I got a little weight vest, but that's all about all I can do. So, you know, a lot of cardio, um, not as much strength tra- uh, strength training, but, you know, a lot of cardio and, uh, and ab work. So, you know, that's all I've really been able to do. Who did I miss here? Matt Stevens? Brett, you guys got anything? You're all good. Matt, you're all good. Anybody else got anything for Kendrick? All good, Kendrick. Thank you very much for joining. Appreciate it. You, uh, you need, you need Nate, right? You want me to give him a call? Yeah, he texted me. He said he won't be on till like four forty-five. So I'll call him. He's probably ain't doing nothing. All right, I got he's you for in sure. A car or something. So <laughs> yeah, right, everybody yes. else. I don't know if you saw in this chat, but Nate will be here in a little bit. So you got some time if you need to kill it. Thank you, Kendrick. Appreciate it. Okay, appreciate you guys. All you guys, stay safe, man. Thanks, Kendrick. Bye. Yep. Thanks, Kendrick. Jeremy, is that Ultimate Warrior I see behind you? Yes, sir. It is. <laughs> My guy. <laughs>